Hello viewers. Assalamu alaikum. Today's tutorial is Oracle Apex Collection. Collection enables you to temporarily capture one or more non-scalar values. You can use collection to store rows and columns currently in session state so they can access manipulated or processed during a user's specific session. You can think of a collection as a bucket in which you temporarily store and name rows of information. Every collection contains a name, list of data elements or members which can have up to 50 character attribute, barcode 2, 5 number attribute, 1 XML type attribute, 1 large binary attribute below, on large character attribute syllable. For create collection, use the command create collection. This command create a empty collection with the provided name and exception is raised. If the name collection exists, then use the following command create or truncate collection. For adding members in the collection, use the following command apex underscore collection dot add num member this is the parameter p collection name it's the declared collection name p underscore c001 it's a character attribute p n 001 is number attribute d 001 is a date attribute if we see the real example apex collection dot add member p collection name this is the name of collection and it's the attribute value so guys let's start the tutorial oracle apex collection create application In this tutorial, I will use a table. Table name it is item details collection. Here, three columns item name, item ID, item name, and item quantity. From SQL workshop, go to the SQL command. Create table item details collection. This is the column. Okay. Table is created. In this application, item item details collection. It will create a navigation menu. In this space, I will create a region from right click on the components, create region, collection region. I'll take here three items. Let's paint it in one. 
I will take two page items. Create another region. The region name is breadcrumb. Here, a uh, template is Position is red number. It's a red number. I'll rename this apex collection. And in this region, uh, in the breadcrumb region, I'll take a button. Label the button at products. Here from appearance on the hot button, <laughs> button template text with icon far plus. Header is hidden. Okay. My structure is now okay. Now, in here, uh, the pre rendering before header create a process. The process name is create collection. Create collection. And in the PL skill code section give the code if not apex collection dot collection exist here is the name of the collection add products add create a new collection name and Validation successful. Okay. Collection declared is complete. Now click on the add product button. Right click on the button and create dynamic collection. Name add product. Here, keep the code, execute server set code, and 
Yan. Get the board. Apex collection dot add member. My collection name is add product. Add product and uh, here two item name, uh, item name and quantity. Item name and quantity. Okay. Uh, in the item to submit section, here I will submit two item, item name and quantity. And here I will create another region. Data already. And it's a interactive report. Here is the query from retrieve the collection. C001 is name and N001 is quantity and my collection name is add product. Okay, after uh, in the below of add product, I'll create another action for refreshing my region data query. Refresh region, this region refresh. Okay, now I can see here the value pin 500. And here the item name and item quantity is not refreshed. Now here I will add another action clear and it will clear my item, item name and item quantity. It's already refreshed and give another item book 200 add product yes this product is added in the collection now i check my table still now there is no data in my table because it is now in my session so viewers in my next tutorial i will show how to insert data from collection to my table thank you please like subscribe and share my videos thank you